Oh my god. Our so final so guest this evening oh, is an actress. Actress? <laughs> <laughs> She's a more like active version. Um, um, an impressionist and a singer. You have most likely seen her very recently in The Descendants. Yeah! So George Clooney, amazing. She was also in one of our favorite comedy TV shows, Reno 911. Oh, Please welcome to the stage. Wait, wait, let's have a clip. Oh, let's oh my god! Yes, this is very exciting. So this is movie number one. I know a lot of you guys have seen this show. How you doing, Sniffy? And we are just sweet on each other. And we're walking down the street, and then all of a sudden, he gives me a good night kiss. Well, that's just wonderful. And I'm feeling great now, and I want a little more of that. But he just doesn't seem to be cooperating. And that's when you know that drugs just really aren't aren't worth uh <laughs> We didn't know it's over. We didn't know the thing is over. Oh, stop. God. Stop. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like it's past tense. Right. But The Descendants was pretty darn recent. Yes. yes. And getting rave reviews and yes. phenomenal. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty crazy so to be in that. We heard uh, it, it shot in Hawaii. Yes. Obviously. With well, and I, you know, you said I co-starred with George, but. I wanted to say I co star with Piccolo Ukapulu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, well, he's a dick. I don't want to work with that guy. <laughs> that dick of the meanest extra ever. Absolute worst person. So, so what was it like for him? Why? Have you ever been there before? Or was it? Uh, it was my first time there, so that was exciting. Mm -hmm. um, it, was just, it was scary to fly there. I mean, oh. and I've flown. Are you a scared flyer? Fly? I, I, normally I'm not. Um, mm -hmm. And I've flown like Europe and everything, but for some, the Pacific Ocean is big. It is it a is. whole lot of water. It's way big, yeah. <laughs> I've only been to Hawaii once, and the only thing that calmed my nerves on the flight was there was a high school water polo team <laughs> that was on it as well. And I was just like, well, I'll be perfectly honest, my boyfriend was like, what, 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 what? <laughs> and I was just enjoying leg room. Was that like, was that provided by the airline? I don't think. <laughs> like flotation devices? That like, would be, oh. please grab the water polo. <laughs> that would the be nearest good. teenage vlog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and luckily, uh, the guy who played my husband uh, was Rob Hubel. Rob Hubel, Hubel amazing, amazing. Yes. 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 And, uh, and you know, we only uh, shot like two or three days in a two week period. <gasps> you were there for two weeks and yeah. only had to work three days. Yeah. So you, you sound like Grace, it's but you worked more than her. I work on my tail. Okay. No, but it was uh, it was great because I mean, I guess it was cheaper for them to keep us there of course, yeah. on that beach uh, <laughs> and fly us back and forth. So we're like, well, alright. So, uh, but it was it was kind of awkward at the same time because Rob and I were friendly, but we weren't like friends. Right. But we didn't know anybody else there, so we'd kind of be like, so you want to go to dinner? <laughs> <laughs> we kept going to this restaurant called Aloha Table. Aloha Table. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very exotic. Aloha Table. It sounds like a sort of just like generic meats with I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> restaurant place. <home. laughs> Hello, Spoon. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah, it was. Um, okay, sorry. I have some sort of. It's oh not, God, that happens all the time. It's not me. pubic hair. It's, it's just. <laughs> it's okay. It's too. You know what happens? You know what? Like, it's crazy back there. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Chinese curtain. Thank you, animal. <laughs> and Jennifer. <laughs> If I may, are a they're startling blue. You guys can kind of see from where you are. From my perspective, oh, thank you. they are like the Pacific meets <laughs> the sky, meets the corners of God's smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a memory. That was a haiku. That was. It was I a don't, haiku. I don't want to sound creepy, but uh, they're beautiful. Oh, thank you. I always get embarrassed when people, because uh, it happens. Quite a lot. <laughs> uh, but no, like I remember even when I waitress, like and people would be like, You have a beautiful eye. I like I 
because they're looking at your eyes, right, right? Right. So I felt like my eyes were like my tits or something. You know, like so I didn't know where they were. In the were you ever like, well, what about look? my breasts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite problem. I always feel like my boobs are my eyes. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told her before the show, please do something to get in shape. For God's sake, it's embarrassing. Well, it is Lent. <laughs> you are crazy. You're both crazy in shape. Gabe is oh right. God. This one, this one, this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eight hot dogs. I, I ate it's four hot dogs. They were 98% fat. Are so disrespectful? Yes! Yes! Oh my God, you guys are kidding me. You're out, Grace. You're out. <laughs> I'm not even Jewish, but I love Hebrew national. I'm not Jewish either, though I love. They're Jews. not just Jews. <laughs> <laughs> they are really great. Mary, you are the one who is in amazing shape. There's a picture of Mary Bird's on. No joke, from two days ago. Was that, uh, what was the, what was the uh, ceremony you were at? Uh, it was a Vanity Fair party. Oh, maybe? that but little thing. This woman walks in with this head to toe, beautiful purple suit, tailored to fit her perfectly. Woman's figure is amazing. No, no shirt, shirt underneath. Just like. Did Unreal. Do you remember when Celine did the Oscars, the white tuxedo, but backwards? Yeah. It would be like that, but purple and frontward. <laughs> frontward. <laughs> I'm just making up words, apparently. Well, it's funny. It's like, uh, it's like a trick that a friend of mine, I had a really uh, good friend, best friend, who had um, beautiful breasted, like you, breasted. And, um, and I was like, oh, I'm so jealous because you have like a D cup or something. She's like, well, you have tiny little boobies relative to mine. <laughs> and she was like, you can celebrate halter tops. That's the oh, for the positive, right? Uh -huh. And yes. so the, the smaller women, the smaller endowed women, mm -hmm. can work the, you know, the topless tuxedo thing. Right. 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 And then you can I work could never the, like, decolletage thing. So. Right. Well, what do the smaller endowed men do? <laughs> <laughs> Lie. <laughs> Fun party now. The big party is coming up this weekend. The Oscars. Yeah. Are you going? How does, how does that work? Now that you're, you're part of the descendants. So. Um, I'm I'm going, but I'm not going. I'm like, if this is a new sort of uh, thing that I'm learning as I go, because I've never been part of a movie that's been nominated. Um, and uh, so apparently they, there's like the overspill, right? Because they can't fit everybody that's in each movie in the main ballroom. Right. Right. So they have these like little mini like Bedouin villages that pop up <laughs> uh, for the Oscars and the Golden Globes that are just these tents, which are really like, they're just like um, temporary cities with huge <laughs> flat screen TVs. And so there's all of these people just sitting. It's almost like you're kind of at home, but you're just, you're all like dressed up and you're right. sitting on a sofa, like watching a, a big screen TV at the Oscars or the Golden Globes. And there's an open bar. And there's an open bar. So uh, it's like. And shrimp. So it's like, <laughs> it's like tailgating in a gown. Kind of, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that sounds like shrimp. heaven. <laughs> oh my God. But oh my yeah, so God. I'm, I'm going to go to that. I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm I'm actually I was sewing before I came here. I, I I really I'm a big fan. Like I love that Jennifer's such an accomplished like artist and yes. crafty and yeah. I feel like it's Spoon important thief. when you're because when you're in this like <laughs> horrific business that is basically like junior high times oh my God. fifty. Yes. It's like the cafeteria table for hell. You know, yes. like you're the new kid in school and like you know, like it's awful. Um, all that sort of bullshit that goes right. along with it. So you learn to develop like talents that have nothing to do with the business, but are right. somehow creative. So sure. you find yourself like I'm decoupaging. I thought like, like, it's so sad. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, so I like to sew. I like to take like old clothes and turn them into something else. And so I'm you also this, like oh well, it's weird. No, no. So it's a long black uh, gown, and it has a purple uh, tuxedo on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> It worked for me. Like, so me. No, but I, it has these like long white sashes. Sure. But I, I did a little tribute to like Rihanna's latest low cut. Oh, I'm, I'm loving the low cut. I love that, and it's all your own. Yes, that is so cool. Uh, good for you. You're talking about these extra habits and, and talents you develop all sort of like reading between projects. Mary is an amazing impressionist. This is something we've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. We've been so impressed. Such an array of impressions that you do. There's like, a, like I mean, our fate, we have several favorites. Mm -hmm. Judy Garland is one. Sure. Joan Rivers is another. Can sure. you do a little bit Joan Rivers? I, I can try. Um, and in fact, I actually tried. I was trying to see if they would let me do um, Joan Rivers on the red carpet this year because she's not doing it. <gasps> oh, oh my God. God. They haven't fit so far. So that would be hysterical. Wouldn't it be great, though, if I went up to George Clooney and be like, what are you wearing? Oh, my God. George, please fuck me. <laughs> Melissa. She is a whore. <laughs> I'm so proud. 
<laughs> oh my god. That would be the most incredible. I would watch that show so hard. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable whenever you use that word. It literally makes my spine quiver. So, so Joe, so Joe, oh. Joe is one of your passions. Yeah. Uh, so what, what else do you like about that? Well, there, there is Judy Garland, um, but I, if I do Judy Garland, okay, so we'll put it to the audience. Do you want old Judy or do you want young Judy? Oh. 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 The first thing I heard was young. I heard young too. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. your name? Who said young? Jim Bob. Hi, Jim Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the toilet, the shit man. <laughs> Jim Bob, I've come such a long way, and I'm so happy to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing the special amulet of the toilet. <laughs> so I do wish you'd give me a painting of a spoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely nailed the way it sounds like she's going to start bawling at the end of every sentence. Oh my god, and there's this great recording of her uh, singing. Oh no, it's the scene from Aunt A.M. And she's like looking at the crystal ball, you know, she's like having an acid trip, look, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and she's crying and weeping. She's 14 years old. It's a recording from the studio from MGM uh -huh. and she's just weeping like tears from the heart. And then she finishes the scene and all you hear is like, okay, boys, that's a wrap. Let's close it up. <laughs> she's like 13 years old. And she's like, <laughs> well, she clearly took it really well later in life. Whoa. <laughs> Old, old Judy. People get upset. People are very possessive. They are. It's true. Yeah. Well, they just bought her shoes. <laughs> what? That's right. Leonardo DiCaprio bought the original <laughs> shoes that she clicks her heels and, he and gave, gave them, them to me. Academy. <laughs> to me and I had them altered. <laughs> <laughs> Short for seven yeah. years, amazing. And you also played a lesbian on Green on One. True. You are the gayest man on this stage. I am. And Paul Wright is on this stage. <laughs> I kind of have a combination of like an erection and like, <laughs> trying to like plot your downfall. <laughs> it's a very like love competitive relationship. We That's should like settle this. For. We should settle this the good old fashioned way with a Bikram yoga off. <laughs> I'm a big pussy when it comes to Bikram Yoga. Oh, no. As soon as I said Seriously, I'm like, also... okay, downward, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> as soon as no one's looking. Yeah, and like, I need, like, I need like a keg. I need those like big water cooler things oh, that yes. are next oh, to me. God. And somebody else has like a teeny tiny little Ugh. thing of water. I don't get it. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Okay. But yes, I recently had to put out a press release um, announcing that I am straight. <laughs> and that's really true. You can read oh, because, because, because of Reno and whatever looks Well, because of Reno and I played lesbians and other things, although I can't remember. Maybe that was just lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so it's like hetero scandal rocks LA, bird song, not gay. <laughs> Because I no, I know what it was on my website. You can like through the tracking stuff, like you can find out what the number one search term was that led people to your website or whatever. Oh, wow. Trying to learn this stuff, yeah, and, yeah. and the number one search term aside from just my name was Mary Bird Song. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, yeah, I'm 43 and single. Okay, oh. in Los Angeles. Oh, oh. I can see so that, fucking yeah. give a girl a break. You don't live in WeHo, do you? No, thank you. No, 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 Although do lesbians live in WeHo? Mm, they're lesbians in. I don't know no. what they are. I don't know what they are. What are they called? They're like, well, maybe Glendale? Yes! <laughs> 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 so you have done a number of movies and worked with some like really big names. So we want to wrap up with a little game of Fuck Mary Kill, the Mary Bird Song co-star edition. And you have You, Regis and Kelly, he never fucking fixed any jewelry ever. Yeah. <laughs> and Regis like breaks his hip on the show. <laughs> that shit. All right, okay, fuck so Mary fuck kill Mary your co-stars. Are you ready? Okay. George Clooney, Patrick Dempsey, 
Kristen Stewart. <laughs> Adventureland. Watch it. She's Very dead. dark. So is Kristen. <laughs> you get to fuck one, marry one, and kill one. Mm -hmm. I have some bets going. <laughs> <laughs> We'll definitely kill Kristen Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> You're one for one. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So it's either fuck George, yeah. Mary, Patrick, yes. or vice versa. Or vice yep. versa. Yes. Oh God, this is tough. <laughs> you guys are all thinking it. Uh, Not <laughs> since Sophie's choice. <laughs> Patrick Mary George. Yeah! Oh my god. Mary Birdsong, you are an absolute pleasure. Unbelievable. Thank Everyone, you so much. tune in to see this lady on Raising Hope, which on March 6th mm -hmm. she is guest starring in, along with one Katy Perry. Well, oh, this is crazy. Okay, the tide is turning because Katy Perry is playing a, a bull, a bullish. <laughs> and I'm playing like a slutty mare. Thank you guys we so much. We've had a wonderful time with so each fun. and every one of you, not you.